This is a historical footage of North Korea releasing a youth military pilot in 1994. In the video, U.S. pilot Bobby Hall appears very serious. So why did North Korea dare to detain a U.S. military pilot December 31, 1994? Two U.S. soldiers flying a helicopter accidentally flew into North Korean territory. The North Korean army immediately took action and shot down the helicopter, unfortunately. Pilot David died on the spot, but Hall survived. He was detained as a spy a few days after the incident. David's body was handed over to the U.S. military. However, Hall was still detained in prison after the airspace invasion. North Korea demanded a reasonable explanation from the U.S. and threatened it to continue detaining Hall. President Clinton, speaking at the White House, stated that it was just an accident. Unfortunately, North Korea did not trust the U.S. explanation and demanded an apology. As a global superpower, the U.S. naturally would not comply with North Korea's demands. So the two sides were deadlocked for half a month. Public pressure in the U.S. grew. The public urged the government to take action to rescue Hall. Under pressure, Clinton had to make concessions. So on December and Hall, who had been detained for 17 days, was finally safely released. When he reached the dividing line, he did not immediately cross it. Instead, he waited for the North Korean officer to finish speaking. He only crossed the border under the signal of the U.S. commander. It is worth noting that the bag in his hand was a gift from North Korea.